Then, in 2012, an investigative reporter forces the U.S. government to release documents which reveal the Chesapeake Bay's dark history. Documents are declassified by the U.S. Army and the United States government that show, in this area of the Chesapeake Bay, there were experiments on U.S. soldiers, 7,000 of which were subjected to the most bizarre experimentation. The declassified documents contain information about Edgewood Arsenal, a large military installation 43 miles to the north of the New Island. Between 1948 and 1975, it was the center of a secret U.S. Army program dubbed Operation Delirium. Operation Delirium was a U.S. Department of Defense program to test chemical agents on our own troops and see what happened. Enlisted volunteers were asked to take part in a carefully controlled test. Each of the volunteers received a minute dose of the psychochemical in coffee. It was kept under cover because, of course, they knew, you know, look, these are human experiments. Just a small quantity of LSD is sufficient to upset the normal physical and emotional behavior pattern. They no longer behave like well-disciplined troops. The drugs they used range from LSD to tear gas to nerve agents. Could you imagine if today somebody found out that the U.S. government is involved in experimenting on the people that are defending their nation, that they're actually using them for chemical experimentation? The agent produced severe irritation of the eyes, nose, throat, and lungs, heavy labored breathing and searing chest pain. The Chesapeake Bay Island raises fears that the U.S. military is once again experimenting on its own troops. We do know that today the U.S. government is developing drugs that they hope will make U.S. soldiers sort of superhuman fighting machines that will make them, for example, not need so much sleep, not need to eat, not feel as much fear. If I went out and rented a boat and took that boat right up to the island and put it ashore and then got up and started to walk around, would no one care? Would I be greeted only by flocks of birds? Or would I be greeted with men carrying black rifles in uniform that would want to know what the hell I was doing there? <laughs> 